Do you feel like uh, either one of those guys, either Danny or Sean, might deserve the rematch more? Or, or like, is there one that you might have a preference of? I mean, I know Sean, you know, he kind of put hands on, on your boy Andre. So, you know, would, 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 that, <laughs> would that maybe motivate you to maybe pick him more over Danny? or? No, nah, at the end of the day, you know, I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed the the, the Porter fight was more challenging, you know, mm-hmm. at the end of the day. I think a real fight fan can see that the Porter fight was more challenging, mm-hmm. and I would like to redeem, uh, redeem myself on my performance because, you know, uh, I also I hurt him several times in the fight, but I didn't finish him. Mm-hmm. Um, and I believe that if given the second chance, you know, obviously both fighters, right? If given the second chance, we both believe that we're both going to perform better. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so um, so that's that. Um. You know, let's put it like this. Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter was nominated for fight of the year. Keith Thurman versus Danny Garcia was not. Mm. Mm. Okay? Mm. So that's another way to look at it. And then if they were if they were to fight each other, then clearly the winner deserves the rematch. Mm. I, can, I can care less about what I just said. If they fight each other, the winner clearly deserves the rematch. And and not not if, if Danny wins, he deserves the rematch. Not Sean, even though he was uh me and his me and his fight was one of the most exciting fights that occurred that year. It's easy to market. The fans in New York, they would love to come out, I believe, to see it for a second time because they already know what, what the arena was like on the first night. I mean, it was it was it was intensity, mm. you know. Um so well that's that man. You know, um they're both they're both great um fighters, world class fighters, um champions, you know, um they're both young. So they, you know, they did. I won't just say that they both deserve a rematch or anything. That's why if they were to fight each other, it'd be, you know, whoever wins does clearly deserve it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, also whoever wants it the most can get it too. You know, we'll, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. We'll see what ends up being proposed because I'm open. I'm open to giving them boys another shot. You, you know, Keith, I think also what you got to factor in, if, if if you throw your business hat on for a quick second, um, you know, I, I know Sean Porter has a fight with Adrian Granados coming up. It looks like Danny might be fighting Brandon Rios. Um, so uh, there could be the potential of one guy having a better performance to the point where that guy might make you more money in a rematch over the other guy. Yeah, that's why that's why it's all about seeing what unfolds. It's not about just predicting the future. You know what I mean? You just gotta see what unfolds. Some one guy can lose and then his whole stock market goes down. Uh-huh. You know? Uh-huh. I mean that's that's the sport of boxing. That's 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 um that's what we live, that's what we breathe, you know. Um you gotta be active, you gotta be you gotta be winning, you know, you gotta be exciting like you just said. There's so many factors into making into making great fights and picking the right fight uh, at the right time. Uh-huh. But yeah, man. So so we'll we'll see. But I'm looking forward to getting back in the ring next year, and I'm looking forward to to which fighter they do propose. I should maybe possibly create that rematch um, next year in 2018. We'll see.